here is 1984 Lincoln penny was double diverse, otherwise doubled ear Lincoln, graded in mid state 68 red by PCGS. Lincoln's earlobe is clearly dye doubled northeast, and his beard also shows doubling. A popular guidebook variety is seldom encountered in essentially perfect condition. Even the use of glass fields to locate a contact or carbon. It was sold for $3,450. This is 1950 S Washington Quarter in MS67 condition. Attractively toned superb gem. The peripheries of this dazzling coin display partial halos of crimson orange, pale gold, and powder blue iridescence. Brilliant in the centers and frosty throughout. Both sides are nice enough to suggest an even higher superb gem rating. It ended up selling for $2,880. 2002 P Indiana Quarter struck on a dime planchet, graded in mean state 64 by PCGS. A wrong planchet error on a briefly produced type. The Philadelphia mint mark is bold and complete, so close to the edge. The Indy race car and the Washington bust are also complete. The date and E pluribus unum are off flam. As is most of United States of America. It was sold for $17,400. This is 1924 D. Lincoln Sent in MS64 Plus Red Condition, CAC Proven Superb Gem. According to NGC, the Denver Mint had not coined cents since the small production of early 1922, and demand for additional pieces returned very slowly to the region it served. Denver coined for the nation's breadbasket states, and American farmers were in distressed conditions throughout the decade. Most 1924 D cents were poorly struck from quite worn dyes. Fully red gems are very elusive, and mint state coins in any grade are in constant demand. It was sold for $4,749.75 with buyer's fee. Here is 1945 P. Jefferson Nickel in MS67 condition. With remarkably vivid tonic and multiple colors, blanketing smooth, frosty features. According to PCGS sensors, a grading service certified 1980 specimens in MS67 grade, with only four numerically finer. This example was sold for $3,737.50. Here is 1909 SVDB Lincoln Cent in MS64 red condition. A fantastic key date with alluring luster and great surface quality. The 1909 SVDB cent is highly sought after and rare coin in the field of numismatics. It refers to a Lincoln cent that was minted in 1909 at the San Francisco Mint and bears the initials VDB of the coin's designer, the Victor David Brenner on the reverse side. The rarity of this coin stems from its limited mintage and historical significance as the first year of the issue for the Lincoln cent. Due to its scarcity and popularity among collectors, the 1909 SVDB cent often commands a high value in the coin market. This one was sold for $4,000. Here is 1943 P. Jefferson Nickel struck on a steel cent planchet, graded as MS64 by MGC. An amazingly lustrous steel white example of this one year only error type, wherein a 1943 P. War Nickel was struck on a blank meant for steel cent production. The date and the mint mark are visible in the entirety, though certain elements at the left peripheral on each side are partly cut off. It fetched a sum of $9,775. This is 1970 S. Lincoln cent from small date variety, PR69 Red Deep Cameo, virtually pristine and surpassed quality for this popular Lincoln cent variety in a PCGS holder. Serene surfaces are boldly cameoed in finish with deeply mirrored field supporting frosty design elements, fully struck as befits a method of manufacture with pinkish rose of verse color that yields to even more vivid reddish rose on the reverse. According to Stax Bowers, a little known fact about the small date variety of the proof 1970s is that it's easier to attribute by looking at the word liberty than at the date itself. On examples of these varieties, the letters in Liberty weaken markedly from left to right. Here is 1926 D Buffalo Nickel with attractive toning, graded in mean state 67 by NGC. According to Heritage, no other issue in the series has quite the same reputation as the 1926 D. That reputation is one for poor production quality, lackluster surfaces, and incomplete detail. 
What strike alone was not a culprit, the Denver Mint did use dyes well past their normal life as a, as a cost-cutting measure. This elusive 1926D is simply exceptional. It was sold for $38,400. Here is 1942 Washington Quarter in PR68 condition. The brilliant centers of this proof quarter are surrounded by concentric halos of crimson, blue, and sea green, apolitical in, in nature on the obverse and perfect circles on the reverse. It ended up selling for $8,225. This is 1961D Washington Quarter in MS67 plus condition. Undoubtedly, from an original mint set, this originally an attractively toned Washington Quarter displays the most vivid shades of emerald, orange, and gold, particularly on the obverse. The surfaces are delightfully smooth and the luster is nothing short of intense. Also available in an absolute sense, a late date, 90% silver Washington Quarter issues such as 1961D are surprisingly rare in the finest mint state grades as here. It was sold for $24,000. Here is 1952 Lincoln Cent in PR67 plus condition with cameo designation. The PR stands for proof, which indicates that the coin was struck using specially prepared dyes and planchets to create a high quality mirror like finish. A grade of PR67 plus indicates that the coin is in excellent condition, with only minor imperfections visible under magnification. The cameo designation refers to the contrast between the mirrored fields of the coin and the frosted design elements. A coin with cameo designation has deep reflective fields and frosted raised design elements. This collectible gem ended up selling for $1856.25 with buyer's fee. Number 15. This is 1941 S. Jefferson Nickel with repunched mint mark S over S, graded as MS65 by PCGS. Not only is a large S meat mark style scars for 1941 S Jefferson nickel, but the present example exhibits a secondary S south of the primary meat mark. Silver grey surfaces are fully lustrous and expectably smooth at the gem grade level. It was sold for $1840. 1981 S Kennedy of Dollar in PR70 deep cameo condition. This is a rare clear S mint mark style of the proof 1981 S half dollar represented here by pristine low pop PCGS PR 70 deep cameo. Silky smooth surfaces are untoned apart from a few swirls of pale gold, tin pale gold tinting in the center of obverse. It was sold for $690. Here is 1956 Lincoln Sentinel at 68 red condition. Attractively toned pristine specimen with boldly struck device elements and lustrous surfaces. With nearly half a million pieces coined, this issue is hardly rare, even in fully red gem condition. It is only at the MS67 red level that the population sinks considerably. MS68 gems are rare. This one was sold for $29,250 with buyer's fee.